Boston's North End, also known as Little Italy, is home to cobblestone streets, over 80 Italian eateries, including La Galleria 33, a family restaurant opened in 2006 by sisters Rita and Lisa. In 1965, my dad moved here from Italy, worked in a few restaurants, and in 1985, he was able to open his own. It's called Losteria. Hey, bye bye. There was immediate success in Losteria. My sister and I grew up there and worked there. Are we gonna call my mama? Following the success of their parents' restaurant and with their parents' financial help, Lisa and Rita branched out and opened La Galleria 33, just under 100 feet away. When we opened, we expected Galleria 33 would have immediate success because that is what my father found. Let it be a reservation. We figured at some point we would get busy, but it just, it never took off. Everybody's abandoning us. Where are they all going? I don't know. Not only do we look at each other and try to figure out what's wrong with it, I'm not sure I know what to do. We start doing crazy things like, I'll stop blaming it on the weather. Well, it's too hot, they can't eat today. It's snowing. It's raining, they can't park and walk. And... It's the beginning of the month, nobody has money, they have to pay their rent. These aren't our clients, all they got shorts on. There's a game. We've taken the tablecloths off, we put them back on. We lowered the prices. We put the curtains up, we took the curtains down. Put 95 at the end of the prices. My mother's thought of why this place didn't work was because the font, are you ready for this? The font on the menu was too small. My head is killing me, where's that coffee? You want Tylenol? I don't know how to fix it, I don't. Cause I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm pretty sure this is what a nervous breakdown feels like. I know what the problem is, it's the owners. They want to get slapped tonight. Huh? Slapped, left and right. Get the fuck out of here. They treat people really bad. Go talk to the customers, go entertain them while they're waiting for the fucking food. We are very unprofessional. Shut up. Pat, don't add to my fucking stress today. Lisa drinks and Rita smokes everywhere. Am I like the only smoker left in America? Everyone makes such a big deal about me smoking. Rosa, go do something. That's my spot. We're like staffed by a bunch of nuts. Rosa, could you not do that? Thanks. She told me to sweep. She's sweeping me. She's sweeping it on me, though. Don't sweep it on my sister, Cinderella. I hate you. We need help. We really do. I think after so many years of this being unsuccessful, we're slowly not caring. Now, I, I shouldn't say not caring, like we're, we're used to it. These are a lot of bills for real. I'm getting very nervous right now. There's so much invested and if it, if it doesn't at some point start to make money, this could be the cause of my mother and father like losing everything. They built so much, and I don't want to be the, the reason why, you know, God forbid, they would have lost everything. That's why it's very sad. Wow, there's a lot of Italian restaurants. Rita, I gotta throw my gum and I can't swallow. Just spit it away. Kill. Just spit it over there. No way. Hold on. I did it. That was difficult. I'm not swallowing mine. I'm gonna keep my breath minty fresh. Oh, man. Hi. 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 Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Hello, how are you? Very good. Nice to see you. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. Sarah, good to see you. Good to see you. Are the owners here? Here we are. Here we are. We bring you from behind here. Excuse me. How are you? I thought you were a customer. Lisa, nice to meet you. Lisa, nice to see you. I'm Rita. Rita, nice to see you both. I thought you were customers. I'm so sorry. No, no. Let's go have a little seat. Do you know we sit out there? I didn't know he was coming. He just came like a bat out of hell and went inside. He didn't even. Stop. First of all, I'm happy to be here. But you guys are partners, right? Yes. Uh, give me a little bit of background. Our parents um, opened Losteria in 85. I was four. Oh, your mum and dad have a restaurant? Yep, five doors In up. Boston? Yes, five, five doors. Five doors down? Yes. Correct. Right across the street diagonally. You're kidding me. No. I just walked past it. Yes. You did. So we decided, let's Ranch try off. and open another one. We know what we're doing, we thought. Galleria 33, what does that mean? 33 comes from where? It, Rita, let Rita explain. I was 33 when we opened it means this. nothing to me. No. Well, you're not 33 yet. Wait. 
till the fabulous things start happening when you're 33. The gallery was like art gallery. The art gallery. We wanted the wall to be replicas of like famous artwork, and we hired this painter, if you can call him that. We started to paint naked cherubs, and we had to fire naked. him. Naked cherubs. Oh. They were on the ceiling. They were on the ceiling. They were on the wall. Like naked. There was a woman with her breasts out, like eating dinner. Who eats dinner like that? Who eats dinner in the nude? Are you chewing gum? No. No. What did you chew? I swallowed it. I swallowed it. No. Oh. <laughs> so you've stopped chewing gum? I don't normally ever Not chew healthy. gum. Yeah, but you shouldn't be swallowing it either. I was afraid of what you were going to say if I said yes. <laughs> no, but uh, so you are chewing gum? I was chewing gum. And now you just swallowed it? Yes. I went to Catholic school. So we used to have to take the gum and put it on our nose and spend the whole day like that. So, I mean, I don't know why Chef Ramsay would have told me to put gum on my nose. <laughs> right. May I have a glass of water, please? Sure, yes. Thank you. Okay. So, tell me, how's the business? We're getting by by the skin of our teeth. It's like really... No, right. we're actually not getting by. We're like in debt. Yeah, we wow. lose money every single month. Wow. We're not That's getting awesome. by. Wow. I think you said what? water, oh. Sarah, honey. Oh, shit. What? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Please. No, 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 we're a little bit too early for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Never too early. <laughs> uh, it is. Lisa loves wine. She likes to drink. OK. She likes to drink. She loves wine. She does. Uh, while she's working, have a couple of glasses. She drinks. I smoke and she drinks. I mean, since we're airing my dirty laundry, oh, I'll let her air her own. Cut that out. Don't say that she drinks. Lisa's great. I didn't think Rita needed to tell Chef Ramsay that I drink. I think he would have probably seen that tonight anyway. How's the service? Mm. Not happy with the service? Well, the servers here are very temperamental, and they sit down for hours at that table behind they there. They sit down? They don't bother checking their tables, cleaning anything. The customers would have to get up with their credit card things so they could pay. Are you kidding me? I yeah. swear to God. Wow. They get really nice customers here, and they should yeah. be getting good service. Not... Thank you for the update. Is there anything else I need to know uh, before I get going? Uh... Well, uh, the chef is my ex-husband. Say that again? I was married to him. The chef is your ex-husband. Sounds like a soap opera. Yes. So, the ex-husband. What's it like working together on a daily basis? He's a grudge. He's difficult, doesn't take criticism well. But he also he can cook. He can cook, yes. It's because these are my parents' recipes mm -hmm. that he's cooking. He has no recipes of his own? Oh, no, no, no. My dad trained him. He wasn't a trained chef. You have to understand, this is a total head I know, head we're fight. very I'm sorry. Like, no, 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 no. Sorry. My head's spinning. My head's oh. spinning. After an informative meeting with owners Lisa and Rita, Chef Ramsay is anxious to try the food. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Good to meet you. Made by head chef Doug, who happens to be Rita's ex-husband. He's so nice. <laughs> I like him. He's, He's so nice. Guy. nice. He's nice. Guy. He's gonna eat now. He's going to eat. Let's see if he's still nice. <laughs> He's gonna be nice. He's a nice guy. You know something? I'm starting to tremble. I don't see you tremble. I'm trembling inside. Oh, inside. How are you? I'm very good. good. I'm Sarah. Go on, please. Sarah, nice to see you, darling. Very nice to meet and you. So, how long have you been here? About two years. Two years. You know, you need to take those heels off because I can't see. They're too big. Um, don't stand in front of me. No, they don't see me. I arrived, they're set outside. Is that normal? It's very normal here. And Rita mentioned about Lisa drinking on service. Does she drink at the end of the night? Yes, she drinks while customers are still here. Oh, dear. The owners, they don't know how to run the restaurants, and they don't want to improve themselves to improve the restaurant. Don't talk to me. There is no organization at all. Wow. Not here, not in the kitchen, nowhere. Wow, that's not good. They have no responsibility. They have no concern. It feels like this place for them is just, oh, I'm working. You're not really working. Wow, I mean, they're, they're treating like they like, like their bar as opposed to their business. Yeah. Why is she say that? Because she's an imbecile. That's not even true. She's a oh. traitor, Benedict Arnold. Skank. Uh, I've got to go for the homemade gnocchi. Thank you. Homemade gnocchi. Yes, please. And then a chicken marcella, please. Marcella. Yeah. 
Okay. I'll go for the veal paradiso. Okay, sure. What else? I'm really hoping he doesn't get the seafood ravioli. They're not, they're not good. We have seafood ravioli special. Oh my God. I, I, I'll, I'll take it, why not? Okay. Lisa, this bitch is selling the ravioli special. What is wrong with her? You know, I hate her. Please tell me you didn't order the raviolis. They've been complaining about the ravioli special, Sarah, all weekend. Why did you even tell them? Go ahead. It's a good that he will know about it. No, Sarah, it isn't. No. That's actually not the case, Sarah. You're a fucking freak, and that was a crazy thing to do. I'm gonna kill her. What did you order? A lot of food? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Gnocchi, chicken marsala, il paradiso, seafood ravioli. Wow. He must be very hungry. Uh, sir, we got two seconds? I am so afraid right now. Why? Because I know what's coming next. Oh, what's your first name? Pat. Pat. This for me is a new journey in life because I've always been a shoe salesman. Seriously? Not a man's shoe salesman. Uh, oh, sorry. Well, so you're not a cobbler? Exclusively, no. Oh, I was going to say. Lisa. Right. It's Pat. Yeah, it's Pat. He's... I don't really I don't even want to deal with that. How would you rate the food? Um, the only issue is that I cannot eat Italian food because I'm gluten intolerant. So uh, what are you here? I'm a combination of everything. I'm like manager slash... Oh, so you're the manager here? Everything else. Oh, shit. Manager slash everything else. I didn't else. know that. So you're the manager of Gallery. Gallery. General manager slash uh, shoe salesman. You really uh, have... I'm also a host. You're a host? And I'm a bus person. I do it all. Wow. Uh, Rita. Yes. Uh, is Pat serious? General manager? He is the bus boy. You're not the general manager? I just assumed their role. Are you assuming the role? On the oh, shit. You just assigned that role to yourself? I just assigned that role oh, to myself. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> ah. I'm but sweating. I'm sweating. You're sweating? Yes. I'm shitting myself. I'm also Who shitting myself. He? He's the he's the bus man, and I fired him. And let me explain to you hold what on, he... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You fired him? I fired him. What did you fire him for? Because he told me that he was more important than me, and that he got me on a bad day, and I got upset, what? and I fired him. Seriously? So you know what he did? He got an umbrella, because it was raining that day, and he yes. got an umbrella. Yes. And he would walk by and look in like a very sad puppy. And I'm like, this poor guy. So I I took him back. I took him back, and now I just let him tell himself he's a manager. For everything that Pat does right, he does five things wrong. Go now, go. Oh Thank my you, God. He's so fucking crazy that it's like, is it really worth even having him here? He's, but it is, I love Pat. Pat's good. He don't feed him because he's gluten free, right? He's so full of shit, he eats well, all. Look, he's like withering away. Well, he's got that great metabolism. I wish I had it, but he, we do feed him. Please don't think we don't feed the staff. No, I'm starving. <laughs> I, I, I... Okay. Okay. Enjoy. I mean, honestly, I haven't even tasted the food yet. Oh, my God. Wow. Why do you do it to me? Please, just out of my sight. Oh. Have the homemade gnocchis. Excellent. And it's all homemade? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. Frozen. What? Frozen. No, come on. But they're homemade, that's why. They're homemade and frozen. Grazie mille. You're very well. Thank you. Please, a, a little smile, a little smile, anything at all. Please eat it. Stop ripping it. He shook his head. Fuck my life. Oh, no, we did a... He rubbery, bland and just really, really solid. Almost like a golf ball. Not nice. Rita. Yes. Two seconds, then. Lisa, you can come as well. Start hiding behind the coffee machine. What are you drinking? No, 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 no. No, just ask. No, 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 no. So the meatballs are, uh, like, firm, solid, and just, like, dry, bland. But they're made here. Mm -hmm. Well, we make them and then we freeze them because 
We don't want to run out of meatballs. Yeah, but they last up to two to three days in the fridge, and the difference in having them seared and cooked in the sauce rather than defrosted, the difference is night and day. OK. Uh, okay. yeah. Oh, my God. This is the beginning of the end. About 20 minutes ago, I was wondering what I, you know, what I got myself into. This is not good. I'm scared. I'm scared. With Chef Ramsay beginning to question the food, people with a rubbery fucking golf ball. Sisters Rita and Lisa are looking to Chef Doug for some answers. I'm not going so well. Get myself? The meatballs, the meatballs are frozen. Yeah, we right. make them fresh every two days. Well, yeah, we make them fresh every two days. We freeze them. They're not fresh, okay. they're frozen. I don't know in how many Italian restaurants he's been, but the restaurant that I know, they freeze stuff. What's in that cup? It's coffee, Rita. The veal paradiso. What's inside the veal? Prosciutto, mozzarella. Wow. It's like someone's thrown up on my plate. Please, God, make them like that at least. Really bad. Just gnarly, overcooked, bland. <gasps> Gross. What the hell does that mean? It means he didn't like it in a nutshell. How is it? That is definitely not paradise, let me tell you. Veal, way overcooked, very chewy, salty <laughs> inside. Sauce is a mess. What is it? Tomato and vodka? Vodka. Right. Disgustingly bad. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, let's just pray that he says his pray. nose. You're like the only prayer. I just want somebody to kill me at this point. What is he going to be eating next? Oh, yeah, seafood ravioli. That was the one thing I was hoping he wasn't going to get, like the one thing. They have the seafood ravioli. And when were they? Are these uh, fresh or? <laughs> oh, no. Frozen. Frozen. Do you think customers come to the North End? To come and eat in a restaurant with frozen raviolis? Definitely not. I won't myself. Who the fuck serves fresh ravioli? I mean, nobody serves fresh ravioli anywhere. Homemade ravioli in this neighborhood. These people don't even know how to make homemade ravioli. That's the god honest truth. I bet you if you go to the restaurant across the street and ask her, do you know how to make a homemade ravioli? She'll look at you and make you a matzo ball. She doesn't know. Wow. Disgusting. Just layers of gunk. So this is special. Actually, it's a special that we have 12 months a year. So it's a special of the year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, do I feel special. Thank you. Um, and in two years, has he ever changed it? Oh, shit. So it's a special I think, every two yeah, years. Since we have that, we never really changed. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse. I want Sarah strangled. You know, she's having a good time because it's not her business on the line. But I got something for her. <laughs> a special every 700 days. I'm so sorry. I don't know what else to say. Oh, man. This is too much. This is too much. I want to go die in a corner somewhere. Wow. Chicken marsala? Yes, and it's fresh. And it's fresh. Excellent. This is the side Excellent. of CT. Ooh, chicken marsala. Looks more like chicken and mushroom soup. <gasps> He's talking, he's whispering, it can't be good. If it's a whisper, it can't be good. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm hoping it tastes better than it looks. <laughs> you know, live it up, girls. There's a Michelin chef in here ripping our food apart, and you guys are giggling away, and I'm about to throw up. <laughs> Shut up, he's chewing. Oh, shit. Salty, salt and everything. Where is he? Way too sweet and just bland. No salt. Is Doug allergic to salt? I Ask don't him. think so. Uh. I don't think so. I didn't realize Chef Ramsay would be so unhappy. He's been kind of mean. You know, I take it back. I said he was nice. <laughs> And what's uh, dessert? We only have tiramisu, and we are even out of it. For real. <laughs> so you run out of desserts? Yes. Do you have tiramisu? 
shot. One dessert and you've run out. Isn't that crazy? We're out of theorem, so I didn't even know. I really didn't. Pat. Two seconds, bud. Quick. I need the manager. The restaurant Austria. Yeah, can you run over there and get me one portion of tiramisu? I am fucking starving. One portion of tiramisu? Quick. Okay. Quick as you can. Where are you going? Get a piece of tiramisu. He's on his way. There he goes. Whose idea was this? No, no this was your not idea. Not my idea. Your fucking idea. Bring him a fork. He doesn't like anything. So he's not going to like that either. Well, hello. Hi. How are you? Good nice to meet you. This is my Lena. mama. Lena, nice to see you. Excellent. I can't wait to taste that. Uh, grazie mille. Right. Excuse me, can I... Can I just quickly say hello to mum again? Come on, mum. Go you're going to get yelled at. I'm Your so turn. scared. Oh, God. Mama. First, I need to do something. Bellissimo. Oh, my God. Oh, delicious. Oh, my God. He likes no, mom. Thank God. Thank he likes so something. Much. I mean, amazing. Whose recipe is that? Your recipe? Really good. Really good indeed. We got a winner from Losteria. What the hell was that? What happened? God. With Chef Ramsay horrified by the food. What the hell? Lisa and Rita's day is not exactly heading in a positive direction. Oh, the fridge broke. I don't even want to say what else could go wrong because God might answer me. And it's unlikely to get any better as Chef Ramsay meets head chef Doug. How are you? Good way. First name? Douglas. Douglas, let's have a chat with the owners. Just stand next to your uh, wife. Ex. Uh, ex, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, first of all, how long have you been cooking? Mm, since 94. 94. And you're the head chef, if we can call it that. You're leading the kitchen, let's get it that yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, okay. So when the they let me anyway. Who's they? Who's they? Yeah, I, but he certainly doesn't mean me, because I don't hold you back to do anything. Who in the hell are you talking about? Yeah, I'd really like to know. I know you're not looking at me. But some things that I want to do my way, you know, is always like... In other words, he wants full yeah, control. I'm going to be in the kitchen, I want full control. But you do have, but you full, have control. full control. Let's Nobody bothers you. Work. Listen, I want to go back to the food. This man is taking time out of his schedule to be yeah, here. I want to talk about frozen meatballs. Oh, okay. Okay. Who's running the kitchen? I do. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's talk about lunch, yeah? The food was dated, bland, boring, and way below par in one of the most competitive streets anywhere in this country. When was the last time you went out for dinner in the neighborhood? I don't know. He doesn't eat Italian. I just go to Chinese food sometimes. Chinese food. <sighs> OK. What about the meatball? The meatball? We make it and then... Freeze them. Freeze them, yeah. And the veal paradiso, way overcooked, just drowned in sauce. Doug, customers cook better at home. The food was shocking. And just no seasoning, no care. Honestly, you're not giving your best. The homemade gnocchi. It's not homemade, right? Well, I know how to make it. I used to make it every day. Ravioli. I used to make those too, but you know there's a pain in the neck. I need somebody with extra time to help me. Doug, yeah. I would be willing to help you make pasta. Yeah, please. I like to make pasta. Yeah, whatever. Dude, that's, that's, See, that's the that's attitude. Tough. It's very, he, he doesn't respond to much. What do you mean, doesn't respond? He just, you know. We're running a business. I know. Wow. And what is it between you two? Why is there such animosity there? He's just, that's just him. That's just him. Are you lazy? No, I'm not. What I'm trying to say is you've just gone through the motions. No, I'm not. You are. You're not making anything fresh. You have turned the restaurants into something dysfunctional, just for convenience. You knew I was coming today, right? Yeah, I knew. So why couldn't you cook for me from the heart? 
because if I'm gonna treat you special, then I gotta treat everybody special. So you feel better serving me frozen shit than you cooking your best? I, I just being honest. Let me ask you this. How can a seafood ravioli be special if it's frozen and it's been on the menu as a special for two years? Well, we get it frozen. What's so fucking special about that? You've only got one dessert on, and even that ran out a week ago. We do have. Where is it, then? Um, no. We don't. We don't. don't. Well, you don't know? Do you guys communicate? I mean, help me. No, I know, I know. But there's really not much that, I mean, you can't even get through to him, so how am I supposed to? You're the owner. I know. You think this restaurant has a future serving frozen meatballs? Not only was my lunch bland, disappointing, but whatever little customers you've got now, I'm amazed they're in here. Tonight, I want to see this place function. I want to see how you operate, what you do. I want to see how you run the line. OK. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Thank you. You're fucking dead. Oh, my god. He's left the building. That was really, really hard. Stop looking at me, Pat, because this is your fault. It would have been easier to have been hung by the roof by my toenails. Oh, God. Well, I don't have any respect. You could make some pasta. No, I can't. And get rid of those seafood ravioli. I want them out of here. OK. I hate you. This was your idea. No, this was definitely your idea. No, this was definitely your idea. It wasn't your idea. Yeah. No, it wasn't. I'm going to go smoke. Crazy, you are fired. Rita, tell him to chill out, because I'm leaving tonight if you fuck with me. I'm really leaving. Ramsey. Now, I'm not calling him chef. I'm calling him Ramsey, and that's what I'm calling him. Mr. Ramsey, at least. Call him Mr. Ramsey. Listen, respect he deserves. He's coming! Fuck my life. He's already shit on the food. Like, I'm waiting for him to see us run the front of the house and yell at us about that. Doug, uh, tiramisu on? No. Can't be bothered? Nope. No, can't be bothered. Wow. Anyway, uh, so take me through the uh, line. Who's running what station? Well, we usually don't work in stations. You don't work on stations either. Holy oh, shit, it's getting worse. Oh, my god. Every Saturday night, Boston's North End is packed. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you, honey? And as a result, it's the one night that La Galleria 33 is filled with customers. My name is Sarah, and I'm going to be your server for tonight. Um, I'm going to be sausage cacciatore. Give me veal francesca. Veal francesca? Sure. Oh, my god, my nerves. Sir, whenever it's ready, we can take table one. Doug, who, uh, who talks to who? Who communicates there? Anybody? <laughs> Doug, who communicates here? Um, I don't. No. I will. I do, but I can't hear anything. Who, yeah. Who's who's? Uh... When things are ready, we just put them over there. And... Oh, so there's no, there's no, there's no timing. When that's ready, we. I said this. Sure. That's ready. Chicken Alfredo, chicken Galleria. Yeah, coming. Well. You just dropped that on the floor. Look at me. You just dropped it on the floor. Yeah. You can't cook it. Yeah. You just dropped it on the floor. I know. Uh, Rita, Lisa, uh, both of you, just two seconds. Sorry, this is sending me crazy. Hello, what? You just dropped the chicken on the floor and put it back in the pan. Mm. This one here. Come on, guys. Serious, Doug? Wait a minute. He dropped it on the floor and cooked it? What, what do you mean? Am I on my own here or what? No, you're not. That's crazy. Could you start that again or not? What? Can you start that again? It's not here. It's there. No, I say this is not. That's the one that dropped on the floor. It's OK. It's good enough to eat it. I'm not here to make you look stupid. But wait, I stop a chef from serving fucking chicken he dropped on the floor. I mean, honestly? You guys look like a bunch of fucking idiots. This is fucking crazy. It's only minutes into a busy Saturday night dinner service, and Chef Ramsay has already observed just how low the standards are at Galleria 33. 
He just dropped the chicken on the floor and put it back in the pan. Honestly, you guys look like a bunch of fucking idiots. Wait a minute. This one here. Why would you cook a fucking piece of chicken that you dropped on the floor? Like, you know, it makes me question his... Not his intelligence, but I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah, his intelligence. Fuck you now. Normally, you would never cook something that fell on the floor. Why would you have done that? He's gonna think you're crazy. Throw it out. Yeah, throw okay. it out. I don't think he's serving that. I mean, I don't, I don't know what if he I does. Say, it's disgusting, but it's not What you wiping his ass? I'm not, but I don't want to be betrayed as a restaurant who serves chicken that's been I tried to stop him from doing it. I don't know. He's nuts. It fell on the floor. Yes, he's nuts. He I picked it up and dusted it. Yeah, I get it, but he's not going to serve it. I'm not it. looking for this stuff. I walked right into it. I'm standing by side watching the line work. But he started a new one, as you can see. Oh, fuck me. I would like to know when Douglas has ever picked something off the floor. Never. Like, ever, ever, ever. Like, why would he have done that? Like, did he purposely do that? While Doug continues to work in silence, food still manages to get out to the diners. Chicken pot, chicken pot. And the ravioli was for you. It looks disgusting. But the customers are anything but reserved when expressing how they feel about his dishes. How's the appetizer taste for you? Awful. It's really not very good. It's not fresh. I can try to send one of the owners over this way if you would like. Yes, please. Absolutely. Lisa, they wanted to speak to someone. Who? Uh, the four top over there, the okay. one that's... I don't want to hear a complaint. Okay. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Send Rita. I don't like dealing with angry, irate people. I usually just... For them to read it. Uh, the four top over there, they'd like to speak to one of the owners. Oh, yeah, send Lisa. I'm I tried, busy. she said no. But I'm not going anywhere. Lisa should deal with complaints because I don't handle that well. I would rather just not deal. The owners may have decided not to deal with disgruntled customers. It's all burnt. But that doesn't stop the complaints from coming. How is it? Going? Yeah, not really good. Really? Very charcoaly. People are complaining about the food. Lisa or Rita will not talk to the customers. Then they get so pissed about it. But it's very usual for me. It's not like this is the first time I see it. This is supposed to be oh, medium no. rare. It's well done. Oh, no, 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 no. Looks like a bonfire. Rita, when you see a bone that is thicker than the actual eye of the meat, it's like a dog chew. My food is good. I still think it's good. How are you going to get it to be medium rare? That's the question. I mean, why is it such a defense mechanism? Well, because even the customers complaining, when they're right, I'll take it. What I can't take is the garbage. Wow. How's everything here? This is cold. It's cold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? Yeah, Come over. Eggplant ravioli. It was a little cold. He was complaining about this. Cold? No, this one's actually hot in the middle. What's wrong? They said it's cold in the middle. I stuck my finger in it. It's hot in the middle. It's, 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 it's not warm. It's still hot. He tells me it's not, but it is. That's cold. No, it's not. The way I am, like, I, I'm going to go over there and tell the lady, like, stick your finger in the ravioli and tell me it's cold now. I'm, like, ready to stab somebody. Whose ravioli was this? It's a table of five, the four top. Hi, who had these ravioli? I'm so sorry. Hello. Hi. Were these yours? All of these ravioli? They weren't cold, so I was just wondering... I don't know what the one is. that I bit into was cold. Oh, no, no, this is definitely your plate. I yes. took it right from the waiter. Yeah, I know it's my And plate. I stuck he my finger. The one that she handed to me to eat was cold. They're all hot, so I'm just curious they what it was. By that time, they weren't was, hot to know. us. So they were cold when they got here, and they got hot when they came back. Just, I'm just curious. I'm trying to understand why. Uh, it seemed like you're okay. kind of not happy with me. It's not that I'm not happy. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. And, I, and they're all hot, so I'm just wondering. Oh, my God. Rita, to me, I was very, very unprofessional. The customers is always right. So when he complains, I want to give the best to them. Uh, my apologies. You've got every right to complain. I think somebody's forgotten the customers are king, right? Yeah. Uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you. This is right. fucking ridiculous. All right, well, let's see how many more complaints we can go on. I think you're overreacting. I mean, as owners, uh, can anything bounce off you and get on with it? Or I'm, I'm still here, so no, no, I'm clearly no, no. Barely, my skin is thicker than barely, that. Barely, barely, barely. I feel like I'm in like a sea of devils. I feel like he brought this upon us. I thought you were gonna come in here and help us, and like, everybody's complaining. What do you want me to do? I mean, you're asking me to stop the complaints? You sound like a petulant teenager. How so? I, fuck, he's just on the defense. 
We love the food here and we think it's good. I'm going to disagree because the food's not good. I don't think my food's bad. Am I in denial? I don't think I am, but I keep saying that my food is good, so that's like a sign of somebody being in denial. Ladies, welcome. How's that, my darling? You're very fishy, especially the muscles. Yeah, it's not very fresh. No. Let me just check. What has happened to the chef? He's in the kitchen. Do you want to see what he's doing? Wow, gets worse. They're all open. Dead, dirty muscles. Douglas, Rita. I'm sorry, what's the same? They're all, they're all open. They're all open. And they're not clean, they're dead. Lisa, muscles are dirty. More importantly, they're all open. What does an open muscle mean? It's dead. It's dead, yeah. But why are they in here, then? We don't use the ones that are open when we don't use them. So where are the dead ones going? In the trash? The garbage. Yeah, I know they're going, but when? Chef Ramsay's really negative and critical. It's pissing me off. I want him to get the fuck out. Let me tell you something. Get rid of the dead muscles before you kill somebody. Oh, my God. It's two hours into dinner service, and Chef Ramsay has now confirmed the main problem here at La Galleria 33. Owners Rita and Lisa are in denial. We love the food here, and we think it's good. The food's not good. And to make matters worse, head chef Doug's practices in the kitchen are completely careless. Dead, dirty muscles will fucking kill somebody. So Chef Ramsay wants to take a closer look at what is lurking below at La Galleria 33. Rotten, gooey as shit. When the fresh onions come in, you think they get rid of the old ones. So he's downstairs? Is he playing around with that one? I have no idea. Rotten. I want to show them more rotten shit. I want to show you something quickly. You always know a chef inside out when you look at his fridge. OK. What's happened over here over the last three months is they've been using onions, peeling them in here and leaving all the bits of shit in there. 90% of them, soft as shit. Oh, pure. Oh, yeah. Hello. Have you any idea how long it takes for an onion to go that rotten? No. About two months. I said to you earlier, I sense that there's a lazy stream running through this restaurant. I'm questioning Doug. I feel like I've trusted too much that he would do the right thing without watching. Oh, Jesus. Wow. So this one's just packed with frozen pasta. What the fuck are they? Those are porcini ravioli. Oh, my God. Porcini, wow. A frozen ravioli is not horrendous. It's not. Like, I've, I've eaten frozen raviolis. It's not, it's not that bad. What are those? Those are cannelloni. Cannelloni? Yes. You are kidding me. And who puts them together? Douglas. And when's it from? I don't know. Cannelloni, flat as a crate. Is this what your father was teaching him? No. Oh, my God. What are they? The frozen meatballs. That you oh, they're the frozen meatballs? Yeah, with the frost. Wow. I don't think you two should be running a restaurant. Why? Because I don't think you give a fuck. No, we do. We totally I swear to God, we do. I, I, honestly, if you're cooking at home tomorrow for your family, I can guarantee you'll be cooking better food at home than you'll be serving your restaurant. And what's shocked me so far since I've been here, no one has any pride in what they're doing, what they're saying, and you should not be running a business. He's trying to point out all our flaws, and he's being ultra critical about everything. We're dead. Don't call me tomorrow, I'm not coming in. I'm sick of hearing it. Get out of here. You must be. I'm I'm not. Not. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I can't do that. We don't. We all know. No, I can't. I've had enough. Just over the whole thing. I just want to run away. I'm out. I can't do this. It's humiliating. All right, I'll have him just do the yelling to me. No, it's not that, Rita. Douglas is dropping chicken on the floor. People complaining. It's a bunch of bullshit. I, di I didn't sign up for this. I'm not doing this. I'm just not fucking doing it. It's ridiculous. He's a douchebag. He doesn't want to help us. I don't think we should call Chef Ramsay a douchebag. He doesn't care. His eyes are on us. They His are. eyes are on us? Yes. His eyes are on us. I don't know what you're talking about. Rita's riding this wave of like, yeah, Chef Ramsay's right. I mean, I'm happy that she thinks this was all worth it. I'm out of here. I'll do it by myself. Where's Lisa? She left. She's leaving. Lisa, you go, I'm going. I I'm didn't going. sign I up for this. Well, I, I don't give a fuck when you sign. Let me, let, let me tell you something. You walk this. out, I'm out. Straight up. OK. I've had enough. I want him to get the fuck out of here. I want him to leave. He's in my space. 
None of you give a shit here. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I care. I you care. care? Yeah, I do. What, by wiping the ass of the chef like that, he dropped a chicken on the listen, floor. Listen. He picked it back yep, up and started cooking that. it. I get that. But you're just but making we're excuses not for it. That. No, I don't give a fuck. If about I didn't you. see I don't even it, like him. if I didn't see it, we're fucking serving it. No, he would not have. Are you deluded? No, I'm not deluded. We How do you know serve. you would have served it? I know we would. So why was he cooking it then? What the fuck do I know? He's nuts. Then you turn that off. I'm going as well. You go. I go. Okay. Beaver, Pennsylvania, an upper middle class suburban community located 28 miles outside of Pittsburgh and home to Levante's Italian restaurant, opened in 1998 by Dino Fratangeli. After graduating college, Dino wanted to open a restaurant. How is it here? It's good. And with his father, Tony, investing his life savings, Dino's dream came true. Are you starting to get orders? When we opened, there wasn't much down here, and the town had a need for uh, a restaurant. Cajun chicken and broccoli. And I was a little overwhelmed with how much business we had. The fun hasn't begun yet. So I asked my sister to come in and help me out. OK, there's eight of you. Seven. At the time, I had a flower shop. I was a florist. But I felt like I needed to help Dino. So I sold my flower shop and came to work here at Levante's. Enjoy. We'll be right with you. Everything was going fine. And then, unfortunately, we got competition. That changed everything. How many tables do you each have? Two. That's it? Mm-hmm. People just aren't coming to Levante's anymore. The real reason the restaurant is failing is because of Tina and Dino. Janae, what's our special tonight? Pasta spinaci. <laughs> That's our special all the time. Dino has absolutely no clue what he's doing in the kitchen. I'm going to put it on top. Are you kidding? I'm going to let you do this. The quality of the food is gross. It's definitely chewy. They're like rubber. When are we opening, guys? Tina, I would replace her with a manager who knew what she was doing. Are you kidding me? She's a disaster. I can't um, figure it out. One of the most frustrating things is just the fact that Tina and Dino cannot function together. It's just so simple. Simple. A big sister doesn't like to listen to her little brother very often. Our communication's a one-way street. You've done nothing that I've asked you to do as a general manager. No, that's not true. He points the finger at me for everything. It's always my fault. Dino! Dino! All right, all right. Dino and my relationship got worse. And Dino walked away for about a year and a half and left the whole business on my shoulders. This is too hard in the middle. And then tried to come back. It just kept declining. Our situation's pretty desperate. Right now, we owe 1,200. Do they have a 10-day grace period? No. They're not even being patient anymore. I put so much money this, inside this restaurant. If this restaurant closes, I'll be at a quarter of a million dollars. Just don't know what happened. I feel really bad for Tony because I don't think that he really even knows like how bad it is. Tina and Dino are basically throwing his money away. This place is a disaster. Honestly, if Chef Ramsay was not coming, I would have given it six months to live and or just board it up. As Chef Ramsay makes the short drive in from the Pittsburgh airport, he takes one more look at the video message that convinced him to come to Levante's. I'm calling out for help. My brother and I have owned for 14 years. We have a lot of bitter arguments over this, and hopefully you can come help us to get our restaurant back. I really need your help. Wow. Hello. Hello, how are you? I know you, I recognize you, how are you? Nice to meet you. Likewise, uh, good to see it's you. It's a pleasure. Um, thank you for that message. Um, I didn't realize things were that bad, but yes. personally, how are you doing? I'm okay. Okay, you sure? I'm ready for your help. Okay, um, where's brother, where is he? Probably in the back. Okay, let's sit down and have a, okay. a chat, shall we? Please. Are you making that a phone call for Chef Ramsay was just 
my last hope. <laughs> I just really need the help. Hey, how are you? Dino. Dino, good to see you. Take a seat. Mm -hmm. uh, right, good to see you both. Good, good to, see, to you. see you. Give me a little insight behind the scenes. When did you open? Uh, we opened in 1998. Right. I had uh, just graduated college and I was kind of trying to find my, my way in life. And mm -hmm. me and my father uh, kind of got together and he was my financial backer. So dad bought the ration for you? Yes. Wow. So you started the business together? Actually, he wanted to start the business and asked me to come along with him. Okay, At the so, time, I had a flower shop. So why would you leave the flower shop? I felt a, I needed to help, you know? I felt it was the right thing. Mm -hmm. So you've given up a lot to keep this business afloat? Yes. And where does your father sit in this? Throughout the years, he's put his money into it. How much longer can your father support it financially? I don't think Not anymore. Not much longer at all. Not much longer. No. What's the problem with the restaurant? He is. That's there insane. Was, no, that is insane. That's the truth. Who's in charge here? He says he is. Right. But I'm here more often than he oh, really? is. Uh, I wouldn't say that she's here more than me. Chef, I've been here double probably what she's been here. No. Who's you here? left me here. There's a reason why I left. Oh, you left the restaurant? I, I, I took my time away from the restaurant for a couple of years. A couple of years? The situation between me and her just started really dissolving. And I kind of decided to take a little hiatus. And why would you take time out? I left because I didn't want to lose my sister forever because I was getting to that point that I would hate her. But um, Tina, give you an insight to what happened when Dina left. What, what, what happened to the restaurants? I mean, I was here as much as I needed to be. How many hours a week? Can you answer that? When she says she was here Wait, all the time, well, it was 25 hours a week. No, I'm here. You're not here. When was the last night you worked? It doesn't matter. In the last I'm here two months. Nine, when was the last nine evening? in the morning till four in, in the afternoon. You're not here till four o'clock. Okay, can't you you're here till learn one in front of the house? I'm here every day. No, you're, you're not here every I'm here, day. I'm here this every day. This is the last six months you've been last here every eight, day. Ten you months. Know? And, and, and I was here every day. I lived here for 10 years. You cannot open the restaurant without me. The yeah. truth, right? You probably have... could. I mean, I did in the beginning. I just haven't done it for several years. Chef, no. I've tried Chef, for 14 years. Chef, he stands years. back there in that doorway, mm -hmm. and he does this to me when I've been working and calling me at the same time. In the same building? In the same, right there. Like, walk out and talk to me. How's that me? crazy? I'm just trying to get a hold of you. Now, I'm dirty, and I don't like coming out here with dirty clothes you know, on and cooking clothes. I don't like my clothes to be out here. OK, so I'm going to run upstairs when I could just motion to you to come back here. That's just yeah. insanity. Like, and you hate me because of that? I, I don't you hate, hate that, you that, for that. that. That drives you crazy? There's a problem with something. Maybe someone's table. Maybe a, a question. Yeah, I just think I it's mean, annoying. Do you want me to, to scream it across the room? The Tina, can you come over here? No, don't I mean, scream. Seriously, you're upset at me because of that? I can't understand Look, this, why he won't walk in this dining room. We don't even argue because we don't talk long enough to argue. Because you're not here. Within minutes of arriving at Levante's, Chef Ramsay has witnessed how destructive this restaurant has been on this brother and sister relationship. Hey, Chef. Follow me, sir. Now it's time to find out if the food is suffering as well. How are you? I'm Brother, how are you? Good, I'm Sam. Nice Sam, to meet nice you. Nice to see you likewise. Good to see you. Good. A happy smiley face for once. <laughs> I met that's the owners earlier, and they were down and in the dumps. Are they always like that? Yes, that's an always. OK, then. Let's order. OK. Got to go for the stuffed uh, banana peppers. Um, I've got to try that Italian stuffed filet. OK, how do you yeah. like it done? Medium rare, please. OK. Um, Carletta. Mm -hmm. It's our signature sauce. And who came up with that idea? Dino. Dino. Mm -hmm. It yeah, came to him in a dream. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Our claim to fame came in a dream from someone who knows nothing about food or how to prepare it. Flippin' egg, OK. <laughs> um, got to go for the chicken carletta, because okay. that's the sauce that was dreamt of one night in his dream. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Absolutely. And it begins. Don't sweat the chef. Do what you guys normally do. What is that, olive oil? Yeah, but it doesn't taste yeah, like olive oil. Do you mind by a little taste? Oh, it's very watery. It tastes like frying oil. <laughs> it does. 
Excuse me, sir. Is yes. Tina nearby? Yeah, absolutely. Please, thank you. Wow, that's dreadful. Tina, Chef Ramsay's asking for you at 43. Oh, no. Tina's been such a hands-off manager for so many years now that she's become so blasé. Yes, sir. Um, and what is that olive oil there? Is that canola oil? No, it's... it's olive oil? Pomsol. Oh, oh, is that the... Is that what you're serving there? It's that mix. Look at that. Jeez, it smells off. You smell that? What's in there? I don't know. When was the last time they were cleaned? I don't know. You're the front of house. What a mess. Is the bathroom nearby? I can just yes, go and wash my hands. To the Please. right. Shit, what happened there? What's that? Tiramisu. Oh, my God. Are they done every day? Probably a couple weeks ago. What? No. Wait, is that a fake tiramisu? Like no, you... it's... That's a real tiramisu? Oh, come on. No, that's... So that's just sat there from fresh. And you said two weeks? No, probably three weeks ago. That is longer than three weeks. This stinks. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Sam. Yes? How long have these desserts been sat here? A couple of months. A couple of months? A couple of months? A couple of months? You yeah. just told me three weeks. No, I would say under a month. It was a couple of months. Do they stay out all night? Yeah. That is a fucking health hazard. Oh, my God. Shit, my boots. I, I can't. I can't do this. The chef's filet right here. OK. Here's our stuffed this, filet. This is the stuffed filet. Yes. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Diane. You're welcome. Wow. What a mess. I asked for mid rare, but it's raw. It's almost like you've got to stick your knife in it to, to kill it. I mean, the thing's still fucking moving. Um, Sam, uh, I'm trying to cut into that. I asked for mid rare, but it's like uh, raw. It's a little raw. Is that steak frozen? Probably. Could you just check with the chef? Yes. Please? Was that steak frozen? He wants to know. I know. Was this frozen? Yeah. Yeah. That okay, well, he awesome. said it's raw. I don't know if I should laugh or cry. Which one? Both. All those crumbs under there. Why is everything so dirty here? There's crap everywhere. I mean, just crumbs and hairs and disgusting. Uh, Tina. Yes, how often is the restroom cleaned? I know you've got we... your dates wrong with the dehydrated desserts. Uh, we do our own shop. cleaning. You do your own cleaning. I, I, I appreciate that. That's not what I asked. How often is the restroom cleaned? How often? Um, I can't answer. You can't answer. OK. Who knows the answer to how often the restroom is cleaned if it's not you? I should know that. You should know. There we are. You know, Dino always comes out smelling like a rose. No, it's like somebody's drilling. The register. Jesus, God. Is it always like that? Yeah. That noisy? Yeah, the phone's worse. Jeez. Mm. Ah. Banana peppers. Thank you. Absolutely. What's that? <laughs> Jesus. Way too much cheese. It's like congealed snot. Sam, is this what they'd normally be like? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow, it's strange. Very, very strange. What do you think? By now, I'm confused. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen, you know, peppers, stuff like that. What's well, happened? Well, they're frozen. They're frozen. So when you put them in the microwave, and but then you lift them up, all that stuff comes out. All that water comes out. Yeah. I feel like I'm eating donkey's cock. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Wow. Now we've gone from bad to bizarre. You know. What? You wanna know what he said about these ones? What did he say? Feels like he's eating a donkey's pee pee. <laughs> because since he knows you froze them, all the crap comes out because there's all that water in there. This is starting to get absurd. Sam, be respectful. Be respectful. Dino, this is Chef's Chicken Carletta. All right, I'm taking the Carletta now. Looking good, looking good. Chicken Thank Carletta you. Capolini. This is the... OK, that's, great. That's the dream sauce. This is the dream sauce? Yes. Mm. How do you think? What a mess. How much garlic is he put in there? 
Um, I have no idea. And the chicken, why is the chicken so hard? It's like no bullets. Idea. Wow, God help them. Thank you, Diane. You're welcome. Brought together in a dream. Unfortunately, he didn't realize at the time he was having a fucking nightmare. Oh my gosh. Dino. What? He said, How much garlic do you really put in this? And I said, Who knows? And then he said, the, Could you get the chicken any drier? The chicken any drier. I disagree with what he had to say about my chicken Carletta. I prayed for months for guidance, and my Carletta sauce is inspired by God. Uh, come over, guys. And this is... Mike Marker. Mike? Yes, sir. Nate. Nate. Uh, I don't know where to start. I'm, I'm lost for words. But what I will say is I think this is the worst Italian food I've ever eaten. Where shall I start? The stuffed banana peppers. It was full of water. Frozen, microwaved, and then some bizarre, weird canned sauce. The chicken carletta. Chicken was rubbery, shredded, chewed. You didn't like the sauce? It was gross. It was garlicky. It was just like something that shouldn't have been put together in the first place. Help me to understand the madness. I got inspired by mm -hmm. a higher power. A higher power? God. God. I mean that. God made the sauce. I mean, you can't all be there. Can you guys go back in the kitchen so I can yes, work with the owners? Dina. Tina, both of you come over. When you can't even keep the place clean, that sends the alarm bells ringing. But I think deep down inside, you don't care and you've stopped caring. That's not true. Really? I do care. Dino, talk to me. I'm completely overwhelmed. Dino, who are you talking to? Any chance of looking at them in the good. eyes? Do you have a pair of bollocks? I'm over here. I mean, I'm going to stand there, but just talk to me. Uh, what is the proper way to keep the front of the house of the restaurant clean? Oh, come on, Dino. Fucking hell. I'd... Aren't you embarrassed? Does your dad know that you're this bad? Take your father out of the equation, and you're fucked. We can't go on like this. We need help. I hope he's coming back. I don't think he is. <laughs> After a very frightening first few hours, Chef Ramsay tracks down the man responsible for funding Levante's. Tony, how are you? Good, Chef. Dino and Tina's father, Tony. I'm not for words. I walked in there, and the first thing that hit me was the animosity. And yeah. I'm nervous because I don't know if I can help because those two don't care. OK. But if it wasn't for your continued financial support, this business wouldn't survive. We were doing real good up to about four or five years ago. I, I kind of blame the economy more mm -hmm. than anything, you know? But it's not the economy that's affecting your restaurant now. That, that's, that's not the economy. Well, I, that's what they tell me anyway. Yeah. Maybe they're telling you that so you can keep funding it. Yeah, right, right. How much does the business owe you? Over, over 200,000. 200,000. Just down to nothing almost, you know? Must be heartbreaking. Yeah, I fight with my wife too, and she start crying, you know, stuff like that. She's kind of upset about it. She's like, just close it up. Sure. She's telling me, close up. I don't want to hear this no more, you know? I'm really sorry. I'm here for you. I'm going to get changed, and I'll be in there tonight. Thank you very Adieu. much, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. All right, guys, you ready? All right, let's get this crap on the road. As Chef Ramsay's first observation of a dinner service begins... There's a candy parm and a baked rigatoni. He has made sure that he is not the only one watching Dino and Tina's performance. Tony, how are you? Their father, Tony, is in the kitchen for the first time in several months. So, this is the line, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, how old's that stove? Oh, it's like 50 years old, I'm assuming. The burners I have lit are the only burners that work. These don't work at all. The ovens don't work? No. Are you kidding me? No. If you're starting with that, what chance have you got? Dino, this slip is sold. There's that, D. Dino, what about my appetizers? Is that for me? Uh, no, it's not. Oh, my gosh. Dino, are you actually expediting? I'm expediting 
All you'll do is just lifting food from that side of the kitchen and putting it to that side of the kitchen. But I thought you were expediting. I got to kind of ask Mike. He's got enough to do. Any of my food up? Uh, that's, well, hold on, hon. Hold on one second. Wow. That's yours, but I think these three are mine. Despite the chaos in the kitchen, the servers somehow managed to sort it out. The pizza here? And food is making its way out to the diners. Not cute. Unfortunately, the speed of service doesn't make up for the disappointing flavor. It's very it's chewy and gummy. It doesn't even look like meat. This is Alfredo sauce. Yes. Um, and it's kind of chunky, it looks like. If I could, if I could something, something else instead. I'll give you a menu. Thank How's that? Much. OK. Dino, um, they think the Alfredo's lumpy. What's wrong with it, Dino? I don't think he drained all of the. What is that, Alfredo? It's Alfredo. Um, that's a disgrace. Your chicken tastes like it's frozen and unfrozen. Oh, no. Can you please make me another one? Guys, can you please look at my fettuccine sauce? Look at that. Are you Looks serious? like curdled milk. Are you, are you kidding me? No care, nothing, guys. I mean, I just, no wonder the food's coming back. What in the hell? Is this the chicken? Yeah. Stop. Stop. Fino, uh, urgently. That's the chicken we've been serving all night, yeah? Why is it sat in all that? Look how slimy it is. Oh, my god. How old is that? Oh, my god. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Tony, two seconds. Tina, you're part of this. What in the fuck are we doing? How old is that? I don't know. Look at the color of the chicken. Green and stinking. Hold that. What's this? Hi. In what? We're serving that. Excuse me. Look at the way we work. What is this? What is this? Anybody? I have no idea. You've got no idea. And this? How old's this? Oh, my God. You disgusting pigs. Look at that. Yeah, it's fermented. Just, just, just smell that. Just smell that. Come on, please. You own it. Ladies, we've been serving that. See the mold around the side? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought that was basil. Oh, my God. No, that's not basil. I wish it was fucking basil. How long does a sauce sit in the fridge to get moldy around the top? Quite a, quite a long time. I didn't expect to see all this. They're not doing the job they're supposed to be doing. And these guys, they're going to have a rough time now. Does the town of Beaver deserve this? Absolutely not. You should be ashamed. Ashamed. Now, walk out there and apologize to your guests and try and do something you've never done in 14 years. Fucking work together. I'm not going out there. Let's go. Excuse me. Um, we, we appreciate you guys coming out here and and um, trying out our, our, our restaurant tonight, but uh, we won't be having any more service. Uh, Chef Ramsay has shut us down for the evening. Fucking hell. Oh, guys, guys. Thank you. Dino, you're telling them that I'm shutting it down. I, I was just... I heard you. I was standing behind the door. Chef Ramsay did not shut this down. I stopped the owners from serving ship food. But I am not going to continue that. Because you don't realize right now, young man, how bad you've become. So I'm not shutting it down. I'm just stopping you looking more stupid. Did you honestly want to continue serving? So you want to continue? You, you, want, to, you want to continue serving? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, can I just have your attention for 30 seconds? Oh, gosh, he has it in his hand. Oh, my God. After Chef Ramsay discovered rotten chicken... Look how slimy it is. ..and moldy sauce... You disgusting pigs. Dino and Tina blame the shutdown of the restaurant on... Chef Ramsay has shut us down. Dino, you're telling them that I'm shutting it down. And now Chef Ramsay is determined to give a more accurate explanation. Ladies and gentlemen, can I just have your attention for 30 seconds? First of all, my apologies, but I'm not going to BS anybody. I am not shutting this restaurant down. I am stopping the owners 
serving this disgusting mess from chicken that's already slimed off, gone, to disgusting basil that was never fresh, to a tomato sauce that's actually caked in mold. I am not going to sit here and play party to that. I'm I mean, And whilst I am totally appreciative for you leaving your homes to come here tonight for dinner, I've got too much respect for you and too much respect for the industry. I am not going to be party to this any longer. My sincere apologies. OK, well, that was embarrassing. Well, what do we do? I have to comp everything. I can't believe it. I'm very, very pissed off right now. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. No wonder they complain out there. Now I know exactly why this place wasn't making any money. I'm embarrassed. I'm sorry. Absolutely embarrassed. Uh, listen, I am so freaking sorry. Let me tell you. But those two need to know how bad they've become. I'm not going to continue serving food like that. So I don't I, blame I, I, you. I'm I don't sorry. want people to eat it. I didn't come here for that. No. I wouldn't want to eat that shit either, you know? I see what's going on, and I'm sick of it. These kids got a lot of work to do. They've given up. I worked my ass off all my life. Two job. Hey, listen, I'm here for you. I'm going to do everything I can to get this business turned around. But I need you, OK? You got me. I'm going to get involved. I'm not going to make it easy for nobody. OK. Thank you very much. While Chef Ramsay is disappointed with Dino and Tina, he remains in the town of Beaver to support Tony. I turn. Who has been blindsided by his children's lack of commitment. OK, this is going to be the most important meeting with your son and daughter since you've opened that business. They need to fight for the jobs and they need to understand you are the boss. Yeah? You ready? Good. Tough love. My kids better change. I will close the restaurant and they're both going to be out. Truthfully? I don't think both of you know how easy you've had it. You're fighting against each other, as opposed to fighting for the future of the business. I gave you a chance, both of you. You guys never did what you're supposed to do, you know? Both of you have to stop arguing. Otherwise, you're not going to get nothing out of that business. I'll sell the building, I'll close it up, and you are not going to get nothing out of it. I got to be dead for you to get anything. Well, Dad, I'm sorry for letting you down. And I promise, and I will make you proud. Why don't you guys work hard? I will work and do whatever necessary to get a restaurant going again. I, I, I First, let me just apologize, Dad, for everything that we've been through for the last couple of years. I thought I knew what problems we had, and I had no idea that I didn't know. And uh, if you give me another opportunity, I promise you from the bottom of my heart that I am 100% committed. Well, you show me then. I'm giving you guys a chance. You guys better work together. You now roll up your sleeves more than ever before, because tomorrow we are relaunching your father's restaurant. And I want to see both of you ready to work, my team, alongside the research that I've been doing, we've been looking at what's not available in Beaver County. And based on that research, let me tell you, Levantes needs a dramatic change. Levantes is going to become an American bistro. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Please. Thank you, Chef. See you in the Thank morning. You. Thank you see so much. See you in the morning. Thank Get ready for change. Thank you, Chef. I agree with Chef Ramsay. Things needed to change, and uh, I think all of us are extremely excited about the new Levante's Bistro. Faced with a restaurant that hasn't been touched in 15 years, Chef Ramsay and his team have their hands full as they transform Levante's from an Italian restaurant into a modern American bistro.
Right, good morning. Good morning, good morning Chef. Chef. How are we? Good. 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 We're good. Are you ready to see a stunning new restaurant? Yes. Yes, yes Chef. OK, take off your blindfolds. Oh, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh, holy wow. Man. Welcome to the new Levantes, your American bistro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, gone are those dark and dreary walls. Take a look how new and modern, how appealing it is. This is awesome. We got rid of those horrendous, filthy booths, replaced them with new chairs, new tabletops, and a brand new central seating area. Beautiful, thank you so much. I haven't smiled in here for a long time, and I can't seem to stop. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Chef. Now, one more thing. During my first meal, I couldn't even concentrate on my food. It sounded like a construction site with this thing hammering around. <laughs> Shaking away. So, I'd like to introduce you to a stunning oh POS system. Oh my god! Yay, that's so cool! From POS Lavu and Sefa Hardware. It is easy to use, it's wireless, and it can be operated anywhere in this building. Get out. This is the cutting edge of POS systems. It will truly help in terms of purchasing, your fixed costs, and your profits. That's cool. Oh, yes. That's cool. We're going to have a new beginner, and it's, this, is, this is just awesome. I told you, day one, that I'm here to support you. So I have found you two consultants, and they run two very successful restaurants. One of them is listed in the top 25 restaurants in Pittsburgh. Avenue B. I'd like to introduce you to the chef, Chris Bonvilli, and his wife, general manager, Jen Bonvilli. Chris, how are you, sir? I'm doing well. Good to see you. Are you well? Yep, I am. Jen, how are you, my darling? Welcome. Good to see you. Chris is going to orchestrate with a kitchen, and Jen is going to help set up the dining room. We're happy to come in and just do what we do and make awesome food. So that's what we're Brilliant. all about. They are here on a consultant basis. So you need to listen and take that level of expertise and put it into this restaurant and pass that knowledge down to your team. Tony, Dino, Tina, I've got one more little surprise for you guys. Come with me. Thank you. Welcome to your new kitchen. Wow. Oh, yes. Look at this space. First of all, when I arrived, this kitchen was so dilapidated, I wouldn't even attempt to cook anything from there, let me tell you. So. I made some rather urgent calls to my friends at Cully Quip, and I asked them to put together a line of brand new equipment. Let's start off with an amazing, energy efficient Falcon six burner range. Top of the line. Wow. When I say top of the range, I'm talking top of the range. It has a griddle top. Underneath that, it has a broiler. Underneath that, it has two ovens. Next to that, you've got a two-basket fryer from Pitco. Opposite that, an amazing brand new steam table from Eagle Group. And then this, for me, is the Rolls-Royce, a state-of-the-art Blodgett brush stainless steel convection oven. This Blodgett holds five baking trays. It's amazing, Chef. You now have all the tools to run this as a successful restaurant, let me tell you. There's no excuse. No excuse. Now that Levante's has been converted into a contemporary American bistro... Excellent. Come through, please. Chef Ramsay continues his plan by introducing a brand new menu to match. We're cooking American classics. Looks good. Looks beautiful. <laughs> Let's start off with the corn bisque. Sweet corn, done beautifully, seasoned, and served with little fritters. Awesome. Next to that, we've got mussels, done with pancetta, shallots, garlic, white wine, butter, classic. Entrees. Starting off with a braised lamb shank, braised with vegetables, red wine, and a really nice lamb stock. And that will just fall off the bone. Wow. Yeah? It's tremendous. And then finally, pan seared salmon with barley, salad, braised fennel, and pancetta with fresh herbs. Nobody has a menu like this locally. Now you can stand out from the competition. I think everything looks so good here. Good. Anybody hungry? Yeah. Yes. Good. <laughs> Get some knife and forks. Dig in. Good. Oh my god, that is good. It is delicious, amazing food. Amazing. I think we can compete now. Amazing. I want to eat it all. I just love it. It's good. It's relaunch night at Levante's, but before they open for business, Tony has a little business of his own. Tonight, you got to promise me that you guys are going to work hard and make this happen. Entire game with you guys. 
given you, given you, you, go, you guys are going to give back to me. Believe me, I understand you don't have to tell me again, Dad. Committed. I promise. They should to me. Because I'll tell you what, if you guys don't you screw up, this is going to be the end. You understand? I got it. We're on it. So much pressure this evening. But I meant what I said. I'm going to work hard and earn his trust back. I'm going to be watching you guys. With the pressure clearly on, Levante's opens its doors to the town of Beaver, Pennsylvania for the first time as an American bistro. How different it looks. Good evening, folks. Welcome. Follow me, please. I have the New York strip. Wow, that's really high tech. High high Heck yeah. <laughs> we aren't playing around anymore. With Chris guiding Dino in the kitchen. Crab cake dip. Crab is in our hands right now, selling you two dip. And Jen working with Tina in the dining room. You can always cap the end of that four top. The relaunch is off to a smooth start. Wow. I can't believe this is safe place. <laughs> What's this? I'm confused. I don't have the slip. Checks on the printer, chef. Check on the printer. Got a stack of checks up there. Yeah, I know. I got to get it. I, got, I have a stack right here. I have this call right now. Calling to lamb, salmon. Table number, please. Sorry, table number 51. Thank you. Dino is pretty rough at running the pass. Uh, he's pretty timid. Uh, I think he's not so sure of himself. He's having a hard time kind of grabbing the reins and, and getting after it. Come on, Dino, get on top of it. You've got to work three or four tables at once. Yeah. You're getting confused with the tickets. Look at me. Yeah. You're falling behind. Get on top of it, please. We're in the shit now. Let's go. Sweet. You're Perfect. 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 One hour and counting. Can I get a time on table one, please? 71 appetizer. How much longer for table three? They've been waiting a really long time. Did I already give that to you? Are you kidding me? Dino needs to get his stuff together, or else we're going to be an embarrassment once again to the entire community. Yeah, no, we're in the shit now. Let's go. I got this table 43. Been waiting here over an hour for food. 43. Hey, Dino, 43, what's going on? They've been here for an hour. Table 43, I feel like we we sold that. I really hope that Dino catches on quick, because if you screw up the first time, I'll give you the second chance. You screw up the second chance, you're done with me. OK, look, stop, Dino. Fire, Caesar. Stop. 43 has not gone out. Oh, god. It's an hour into the relaunch of Levante's and Dino has lost control of the kitchen. Table 43, I feel like we sold that. Stop, Dino. Fire, Caesar. Stop. 43 has not gone out. Dino, yeah. jump the tickets, OK? Jump the tickets. What? Well, we've got to handle that one first. Chris, can you stop what you're doing for five minutes? Join it by the sides. Dino, wake up a little bit. You need to own it. Let's go. If I'm waiting on a burger medium to sell, then my next order I'm looking for salmon midwell, burger midwell. I realize tonight how much I do need Chris's help. I have uh, a mountain of learning ahead of me. It's just going to take a little bit of time for me. Table three, yes, burger. Hallelujah. Check sold. A burger. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll come back and check on you. Enjoy. Firing. Table four, muscles, butcher's board. Dino has a, a ton to learn at this point, but he has an awesome opportunity here, and he's the one that has to, to make it happen. Hey! That's it. This is all sold. We'll be back. Yes, no. We'll be here. <laughs> well done. Levante's is back on the map. Big Thank time, you, yes? Chef. This gorgeous town. Loved the American Bistro. Did you hear the feedback from the food? I didn't have a single complaint tonight. Tina? Did a great job. Thank you, Dino, tonight you had a first grasp of what it's really like running the fort. Yeah, I did. And tonight, Chris and Jen ran your restaurants. You've got to stick with them. You've got to listen to them. A big thank you to them both, because I thought you did an amazing job. Thank you very much. Well done. Good night, guys. Uh, good job. Tony, two minutes. Listen, that was a tough day. I had such a good time. You did? Yes. Everybody loved it. And it's good to see you smiling. <laughs> <laughs> you have a town now that is in love with your restaurant again. You can walk out those doors and hold your head up high. I can't thank you enough. You're a special father, let me tell you. There's not many about. Take care, Captain. Thank you. Yeah, good to see you. Love to the family. OK. I'm going to listen to you. Good night. 
Good night. Take care. <sighs> when I came to Beaver, Pennsylvania, I had no idea that this would be one of the biggest kitchen nightmare transformations ever. But there are still two very big question marks remain. One's Dino, and the second one's Tina. Will they finally step up and satisfy not just their father, but their customers too? This is a very close-knit town, and I guess we'll just have to leave it to Beaver. Wow. In the weeks that followed, and table one, Janae. Good evening. Hi. How you doing? Chris and Jen continued their training of Dino and Tina. They need to see you hustling, too. They're going to hustle as much as you hustle. And with brother and sister working well together. How's everything up? It's going OK. I'm just coming to check on you. Tony can rest a bit easier, knowing that his children are in control and that the future of Levante's looks bright. All right, let's do it. Next on. Long Beach, California, an oceanside community located 20 miles south of Los Angeles. Nestled in the heart of this vibrant city is Nino's, a family-run restaurant opened in 1958 by immigrants Inga and Vincenzo. When we got to America, Vincenzo wanted to open a restaurant, and that was his dream. How are you doing tonight? Very well, yourself? Welcome to Nino's. I ran the outside, he ran the kitchen. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun, too. We had a great time. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. My dad ran a restaurant with an iron fist, and we were the best that you could be. <laughs> it's hard now, because he's 88. He's on the onset of dementia, and uh, in the last several years, has separated himself from the restaurant. Who's taking table 11? I have no idea. Do you have table 11? Ever since my dad retired, my brother Nino is supposed to be a restaurant manager. All I can say is, he's the worst employee here. He loves to run up the tables and go, hi, I'm Nino. Thinks he owns this place, and he's because his name Nino's. However, my dad has told him, Jack in the Box, the owner no be named Jack. Pick up table six, please. I'm really quite tired. I didn't sleep last night. Terrific, thank you. Nino works here, we pay him, but basically he does very little. He sits in the office and watches TV. If he wouldn't be our son, he wouldn't be working here. How's table 11 coming along? They're almost ready. Because my brother sits around a lot and doesn't do anything, my sister Karina and I have helped throughout the years substantially. We found a hand in that food. And you must have put it there. No, I have bread, dude. I don't have any hair. You know, you're making it worse. They're liars. No, they're not. My brother's 60 years old, and he acts like he's 12. That was inappropriate, what you just did. This is my parents' legacy, and he's going to run this restaurant into the ground. You're a lying sack of shit. I got a brother and sister that they think they got better ideas. My brother and sister asked Chef Ramsey to come without consulting me, and I have an ill feeling about it. We are we so leaving. Forever. And you need to see that detached from reality, that he doesn't see how much mom is suffering. They're freaking liars. This is a woman who always pays her bills on time, and she's having to take money out of the retirement to pay for this restaurant to keep it going. I made a promise to my husband, Vincenzo, that I would keep this restaurant going. But some night, you have 10, 12 people coming. That doesn't do it. The last thing I want to do is close the doors. We put a lot of love. <laughs> we put a lot of love in this place. <laughs> I'm at Nino's Italian restaurant, which is owned by one family for 54 years. And in the restaurant business, that is unbelievable. Sadly, things have gone horribly wrong over the last couple of years. I'm about to find out why. Oh my God. Well, I feel like I'm back in 1958. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm very nice to see you. My name is Inga. Inga, I'm not very Italian. No, I'm from Germany. From Germany? My husband is the Italian. I see, your husband's Nino. Nino is actually the son. So there's you? and your son, all running the business. 
and uh, Karina and Mike, they are also my kids and they are here many times. And how about your husband? He is kind of retired. It'd be nice to meet the family. Can we get everybody together oh, and sure. have a chat? Everybody for a catch -up? is in the bag. There's Mike. This is the baby, right? No, no Karina is the baby. Oh, you're the baby. Yeah. Hi, I'm Karina. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. Likewise. And Gordon, this is I'm Nino. Nino, good Pleasure to see you. to meet you. Likewise. So you're the oldest. Yes, I am. I'm the one that's going to be 60 pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to catch up with all of you now. Let's okay. go in somewhere a bit quieter. Sorry. My brother Nino tells everybody how hard he works and that he runs this restaurant. I I'm sorry, Nino. He's not going to swallow your BS for one second. So how good is the food? How would you rate it out of 10, Nino? 10. A 10? Wow. Yes. Karina? I would have to rate it as a seven. So, Michael, what would you give the food? I would give it an eight. So the food's good, that's great. And what's your role? I really don't work here all the time. I have my own career, right? as my sister does. Uh, I help out whenever my mom calls. I'm Johnny on the spot. Nino, the restaurant's named after you. What's your role? The, the person that's always been in charge was my dad. And then when, when he developed his Alzheimer's, I stepped up in this business. Wow. What do you mean? I, I get here early. I, I do uh, the remedial things as janitorial, Good. vacuuming, cleaning of all these plates, and cleaning the restrooms, scrubbing the toilets, washing the patio. That's just from 8 until about 4, maybe. Weekends, usually, I'll come in for uh, extensive cleaning. Sounds like you do a lot of cleaning. Cleaning? What are you talking about? The restaurant is a mess. <laughs> Take away the cleaning. What else do you do? Karina, um, help me out. There's no key person. There's no one really directing the kitchen on how the portion should be, how the quality needs to be consistent. You know, you need to be working in the kitchen. When I worked here I, and Mike worked here, we jumped in the kitchen. They don't want me in there. Who? The chefs. The chefs? They're very adamant about uh, uh, keeping that kitchen to themselves. It sounds like you put over a barrel now. It's like everybody's kind of running the restaurant. I thought Nino was running it. <laughs> not really, no. That's not true. But Nino's here. But Nino isn't here. He's here at lunch. So he doesn't run dinner. Are you here for dinner? Yes. <laughs> I don't understand why you're not here. Lunch and dinner. It's something my mom and I are constantly frustrated Sorry. with. Nino's doing everything half-assed. And so Mike and I have to come in, help the family. Wow, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You're a taste the crap out of me. He spends a lot of time sitting down with customers. I mean, not just visiting, promoting the business, sitting down and talking for long periods of time in the middle of lunch. And he's the only restaurant manager I think you'll find anywhere that has lunch at lunchtime. He spends a lot of time in the office watching TV. This is not even true. He's not it's here. Not true. He's not here at <laughs> 8 in the morning when I get here. Why would I come here at 8 That's in the morning? That's a fantasy. I watch TV. The television here is 40 years old, and I have a uh, high def at home with all the all the channels I need. Why wouldn't I just stay there? I so get here tell at people eight. you're working. Because nobody's here, so you can say whatever you're doing, right? Stretching the truth. It is not. <laughs> My brother never tells the truth. <laughs> Coming from a pathological liar, I take I, that as a compliment. <laughs> he thinks I'm, I'm some kind of nut because I, I, I'm in a recovery program. But I'm not. That. It has I, nothing to do with that. You're just he, a liar. He, he thinks we're you're all just, living in a fantasy world, according I never to him. No. I think you're in a fantasy world by the way you act here. My honest feeling is that he doesn't do crap here. He does a lot of sick. I'm talking. He makes everybody believe he does crap. Just like last night, he ran up to every table and said, hello, my name's Nino. That's not true. Nino, please. Would you let me talk? Mr. O was talking. I see that all the time. And that's why I kind of stay back from here, because I love this damn restaurant. And to see it just being Run down drives me freaking crazy. To my opinion, he doesn't do crap. My mom will admit it, my dad will admit it, my sister will admit it, but I will come out and say it passionately. Doesn't do crap. While the family and Nino are in complete disagreement over his effectiveness as a manager. Thank you. Thank you. They were all in agreement that the food at Nino's is good. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Yeah, nice to see you. Are those brothers always butting heads like that? Are they always arguing? Yes, they are. Wow. Um, is that a spelling mistake on there? Egg, plant, as in two separate words? Yeah. It is. Shouldn't they be sort of joined? Yes. 
And I noticed this one as well down here. One meat ball. <laughs> Do they not know they're going to be like, it's one word, meat ball? <laughs> Honestly. And do you know what? I'll go for one meat ball, okay. uh, one egg plant, and okay. chicken counter. Okay. Thank you. Got it. Excellent. Michael, um, listen, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate your honesty. And I know it's hard, but well, I feel like someone's blown smoke on my ass. My brother's full of shit. I'd be surprised if he worked two hours a day. And that, I, that's pushing it. Would you not feel guilty of your mum working twice as hard as you? Yeah, she's better day and night. That's what I'm saying. Why is he not here helping her? He doesn't have another job. He complains about not having money, not taking a vacation. Either come here at night or get another job. Sure. <laughs> right? <laughs> no. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay, Gordon. You sure? I just ask before you make any judgments. I'm not making any judgments on you at all. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm listening. Nobody's here at 8 in the morning when I'm here. And and, and there is there is a job that's endeavoring. I mean, all the way, you know, and I, I get back behind here, you know. I get underneath there, I get the plates, I get up there. And, and um, it doesn't take that long. It, it takes about an just, hour or so. My knees and then I, I start stuck. doing the prep work. It, just, it just did. What is that? It's just stuck to my jeans. Oh, oh my gosh. So have a look at that under there. Oh my gosh. How many bits of gum are there? There is uh, four pieces of gum. So you do all this cleaning. I haven't looked down there. I don't think you should do that during the business hours in front what of customers. Time, what time would you like me to do it? Uh, come here at 8 in the morning with me. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't you be there with you tomorrow morning? And I wouldn't do that in your restaurant either. Hey, you wouldn't find gum under my tables. <laughs> Nino is a ball of excuses. He's just wacko. God, this full of cobwebs. Bloody hell. Didn't get to that one. Bloody hell. Definitely didn't get to that one. Everybody else was done, right? Yeah. Right. Have you seen the size of that cobweb there? Have you seen that? That's dust. That, now, that's the cobweb. Didn't see it without the lighting. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. How often do you clean? Every day? I, you know, this is something that, that takes a lot of consideration. I, I, you know, you can be on this here for months. I start at one end and then finish at the other end and then I come back. On this one? Oh, God. This is the eight in the morning effect. Five days a week for years. Bloody hell. Is there a bathroom nearby? Should we wash my hands? Yes, sir. He should have shut up about cleaning. I don't know what he's cleaning, but I wouldn't hire him at my house. I promise you that. Oh, what are the pictures of? These are me cleaning and pulling down all the all the bottles, every single bottle. I, I've never seen pictures of cleaning. That's a first for me. Well, that's because my brother's always yeah. questioning that I do it. I don't know in the first place why he took pictures. If it's clean, you don't have to prove it with pictures. You see it, right? <laughs> this is a chicken piccata. It's a lemon with capers and mushrooms. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. How do you like this one? Dreadful. No? Chicken's all flowery, slimy. Okay. Come over, Nina. So I just had to Megan. Let's just, if you just, just touch, touch that, it's all I, easy. I, I'm it. not going to touch it with my finger. No, it's all, what I'm trying to say is all soggy and flowery, so it's... Well, I mean, I'll do something like that in the kitchen, but not in the dining area. That wouldn't be appropriate. I wouldn't touch food. Listen, listen. You're sitting on a table full of gum. I've got cobwebs coming out of my earlobes, and now I'm asking you to touch something flowery. And you say, I wouldn't do this in the dining room. All of a sudden, you've got this level of concern. Yes, I do, because that's food right there. And you want me to touch it. This is food that you've given 10 what out of 10. To, what am I supposed to I want you to be honest with yourself and stop fucking around. I'm not fucking around. Ready to get real. The chicken is slimy and furry. It's got raw flour on the outside. You refuse to accept it because you're in the land of nod. <laughs> Chef Ramsay is sounding like an ass. Too much flour and it has no flavor and it's a very delicate chicken and it's delicious. He said the piccata was disgusting. This guy is disgusting. Oh, and that's my one meatball. This is your one meatball. I said, thank you. That tastes 54 years old. Mush, disgusting and just dreadful. Nino, come on. You rated the food on a 10. So far, what I've tasted, I'm embarrassed. That's too bad. 
the meatball, soggy, bland, and just hideous with a salty marinara sauce. It's a matter of taste. Say that again? It's a matter of taste. That's not a matter of taste. When was that made? Two days ago. Really? I saw him make it. Right. Can you have a word with the chef? I know you're scared of them, but ask I'm him. I'm not scared of them, and I'm not scared of you. What's that supposed to mean? You threatening me? I'm not a, I'm not a person that's scared, so don't use that word, please. I ask you to step up, take some form of responsibility, and go in there and ask him. So, are you going to let me continue eat, or do you want to? What do you want to fight? You want a confrontation? If we're talking about something physical. Can you, no. Can you leave me alone? Let me finish my lunch. Yes, I will. And if you find the balls to go and ask your chef when he made the meatballs, it'd be greatly appreciative. By the way, there's dirty bottles above the fish tank. Wow. Valentina, when did you make those meatballs? That's how you eat. That's unbelievable. Friday. I find that hard to believe. Because today is Tuesday. That couldn't be. That couldn't possibly be. <sighs> thank you. And this is the... Uh... This is the eggplant? Wow. Thank you very much. You're good. He made them this weekend on Friday. He made them on Friday? Yes, he did. And today's Tuesday? Yes, it is. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Unbelievable. We've been selling this sauce for 54 years. Yeah. And, and we couldn't possibly have this restaurant and have all the success if we didn't make a good sauce and a good meatball. You are in denial. No, <laughs> I'm not. Bullshitting me and blowing smoke up my ass, telling me working here eight hours a day cleaning. Telling me that food is great, people love it. I am shitting myself. And the then chef, you need to wear diapers. The, you shouldn't be shitting on yourself. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're just trying to act like a fucking idiot to make no, yourself I'm not. sound I'm better. I'm not a fucking idiot. Well, then stop sounding like you one. You sound like a it's... fucking idiot yourself. I sound like an idiot. You used the word fucking, yeah. so I brought it I back just... to you. Okay. I think that's right. that's kind of gross. We need to calm right. down. Unbelievable. Now I know the problem in this restaurant. Yeah. I'm staring at uh, it. And I'm, I'm staring at it as well. To be honest, I really don't know what's in Nino's head. Are we done? It's almost like he's completely mentally unstable. I'd like to have a quick catch up with you, Mum, Karina, and your brother. Okay. Let's uh, let's go next door. Um, I'm lost for words. Honestly, I'm depressed. Dish after dish was a disappointment. And then you rate the food. Ten out of ten, perfect. It's the best of time food I've ever had. I have a lot of friends that come here and eat. Your circle of friends isn't keeping the business afloat. Let's get that right. And let me tell you something. The chicken piccati. Chicken was furry and slimy. The meatball we discovered was made five freaking days ago. But for some bizarre reason, you're convincing yourself that everything's fine. <laughs> What you have proven to me is that you are not in a position to take responsibility for anything except cleaning. For the first 40 minutes of meeting you, all you told me about was the cleaning. You're in denial. You're refusing to listen to the negative feedback regarding the food. And yet you've got pictures of yourself cleaning the place. Hello? I didn't take those pictures. You were happy to show them to me. Well, you, you, you were indicating that I don't do anything. Cleaning is basic, like drinking water and breathing air. And that is not management. Nina, there's the lady there that's got all the weight on her shoulders. And I don't know when you're thinking of getting responsible, but let me give you some piece of advice. Hurry up, will you? <laughs> um, I'm just saddened, I think, really, because it doesn't even feel like it's family run. Um, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm sorry. I really got the sense that he came in here and I'm his target. He's 100% right. You're the biggest problem here, and if mom could initiate your early retirement, it would be the best thing. OK. You are being entirely unfair and dishonest about this. But I can't stand seeing this place run like crap. This, this fighting right. has to stop. OK, well, then I can't come, because I can't stand watching it. It's not Maybe just... you're taking nerve pills, okay. something I don't know. I can't take it. I don't it. take nerve pills. OK, but I Never. can't take it. Why are you I'm yelling at your mother? Because you're saying the fighting, like, like I come in here just to fight. No. I come in here, you two fighting. You need to talk. You yes, need to talk. So 
Well, maybe we stop saying the you word fighting. You call it communicating. Just a cats and dogs. We, That's what it sounds like to me. Chef Ramsey. He said, this is not a family. And I know it's not a family. OK. Ciao, arrivederci. Chef Ramsey has quickly identified the two biggest problems of the restaurant, Nino and the food. But he's about to learn a whole lot more as he watches how this kitchen functions during a dinner service. What, uh, what is that? Lasagna. That's lasagna. Well, if that's a lasagna, then I'm the Pope. Jesus. When was it made? Last Friday, no? Last Friday. Wow. It's really weird. Very weird indeed. Oh, man. What is that? This is chicken. I thought it was lard. It's not, it's chicken. Wow, it's all dry. Bloody hell. Can you get me Nina, please? <sighs> Nina. That's chicken. Yeah, can I have a little taste? All right, all right, all right, all right. It's dry, bland, and it's just been reheated now for your pasta dishes. Yeah, sure. I like the taste. That is not the way to cook. Right. I believe Chef Ramsay may have exaggerated. It almost sounded like it was unsalvageable. Throw that away, please, yeah? I don't even want that saved for a dog. OK. You have the cauliflower pancakes? This is yours. As the dishes leave the kitchen reasonably quick, <laughs> complaints from customers are almost immediate. Look at this, though. Like, this is supposed to be the breading, I think. This is no good. Look at that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna send this back. Sure, let me do it. Oh, sorry for that. Let me take it. Way too much grease. Oh no, what's wrong with that? Oh Jesus Christ! You are kidding me. What is that? Come on, guys. This is an example of Nino not knowing how to manage this restaurant. He should be in the kitchen, making sure that our food quality is consistent. Where's Nino? Help me the yeah. kitchen. That's what you need to do. I haven't eaten anything all day. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he was eating dinner with my mom and dad out front. We should be working, but yeah. if he had the initiative, the assertiveness to take over, we wouldn't be in this situation. So Nino just continually stands there. And that's the frustrating thing right now, because I look and he's like in my right peripheral at all times. And you've got your poor 78-year-old mother standing out the front, yes, clinging on. Got a mess in here. Oh, mushrooms and my god. Are they the meatballs? Yeah. Where are they from? Uh Friday. Friday. These are from Friday as well? Uh-huh. Look at it. How old is that to go that color? And I have a feeling if I ask somebody, they'd say, no doubt, from Friday. When was it made? How old is that? It's uh, from Friday. Friday again. Busy day, Friday. Have you seen inside your refrigeration? Yes, absolutely. We actually do a full, full, thorough cleaning every night. Have you got two minutes? Yes, sir. Just look down there, the back there. Yeah, there's some product on the ground. Uh, so what on the ground? Mushrooms. Yeah, there is. And have you any idea? No, this is this is here. This is just left there. My God, what's that? It's pepper. You've been serving this all night. It's not even scaled. You're the man that gave me 10 out of 10. Come on, then. Right. I don't know what to say. While Nino says he takes great pride in the cleanliness of the restaurant, what's this? Chef Ramsay discovers another horror story in the walk-in. That is rancid. How long does a red pepper take before it goes that rotten? Just smell that. It can go fast. It can what? It can go faster than you expect. How would you feel if your customers saw that? That's what I'm trying to say to you. All right. 
that w I mean, I'm sorry it's there, but we wouldn't take that and, and serve it to somebody. No, but what and I'm trying to say is that signifies how this whole business is run. I'll give them on that refrigerator. I'm horribly disappointed about it, but uh, it's impossible to do everything properly. You're not doing your I job don't... to the best of the ability that's necessary to run this business. If you want to say that, that's, I'm sure that's your prerogative. It's not my prerogative. I'm watching it. I'm watching you doing it by the minute. I, I don't have the authority to assert myself. And you when do, I ask somebody, you know. They... You do. You just okay. never have. Your mum wants you to step up. I'm so confused. She wants you to do it. Uh, You're nearly 60. Is that true, what you just told me? He has no power, because you won't let him. That's not true. That's not the way it is, Nino. Why do you tell stories like that? How many times have I gone in there and tried to, to, to when assert is myself? It, when is it two or three years ago? I had to go into hospital. You were completely out drunk. I, I had a relapse yeah. and ended up in the hospital. What I saw was so disgusting. I had to hold him down in the emergency room. You know, they had to put him in, in, in restraints. And I made a bad decision. She still has a resentment about it, and I don't know what I can do about it. Do me a favor. Yeah. I need to spend two minutes with your mother now. All right. Yeah. I feel for you. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Mm-hmm. He almost died. I'm sorry. Yeah. Are you holding it against him? Or is it down to the actual work and commitment? I it's think it's the work and commitment. Is he lazy? What is it? Yeah. I am here to help you. You must understand that. Yeah, yeah. Can we meet first thing tomorrow morning? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. As Chef Ramsay has made a commitment to Inga to help save the restaurant. Good morning, my darling. Good morning. He knows his next step is to make sure that Nino is committed to changing his ways. So this morning, he fills Inga in on his plan. Right now, Nino thinks every day that this restaurant's not going to close because you're going to continue funding it. Mm -hmm. If he starts to understand that you've had enough, that may wake this guy up. Mm -hmm. So here's the plan. I'm going to board up the whole front of this restaurant. So it looks like the business is closed. I'll be hiding around the corner, and I'll be around there, and I want to hear what he has to say to his mother when you say, I'm shutting it down. It's about him showing you hunger. What he can do, that what he, he can, can do. do it. Exactly that. You with me? Yeah. Perfect. This morning, and I decided to close that business. I cannot do it anymore. It doesn't work. Is that what you think? Yeah. All right. Fine. Jesus Christ. Is that all you have to say? Well, Mom, it's your restaurant. You're the one that has a decision on this. But I think we should stay, keep it open. That's my personal opinion. I, I, I don't want to give up. I know we can hold out and do it. I cannot put any more money in this place. I'm willing to fight to keep this restaurant open. Do you have some suggestion how we can do that? We have an expert in the restaurant business. We can ask him. Do you really want to do it? Yes, absolutely. Hi. <laughs> Chef Ramsey, hi, how you doing? So, 
54 years in the making. Mm -hmm. And the business is on the brink of closure. You're part of that failure. Yeah. Do you understand what that means? Yes, I do, Chef. It's got to come from you, Nino. I'm willing to commit. Take control, Nino. I shall. No more excuses. Just be on top of everything. I'm willing, Mom. The business is going to have to become a new priority. Number one. Number one. At this point, I believe Nino really wants to turn his life around, and he wants to do what's best for the restaurant and the family. While Nino says he's committed to change, how are you doing? Chef Ramsay feels it's important that he shares this news with his brother and his sister. OK. The lack of commitment with Nino has been going on for far too long. And your mother stepped up and told him, I've had enough. And Nino, to his credit, turned around and said, Mum, I want to do this. I'm committed. Yes. I don't believe that. You know, you've been in denial for a long time what your responsibilities have been. You made so many promises to all of us over your life, and this time sure. you need to be in charge. He's committed That's to that all. this morning, and this is the new Nino. Maybe for three, four weeks, but then he'll revert back to the old Nino. I, I'm asking, let's get out of the past. What is it we can do from this point to move forward and treat each other with decency and walk away sh shaking each other's hands? OK, no more excuses, no more denial. I need you to be the big brother that you're supposed to be to this family. I'm going to be much more focused on doing things that make the business more successful. And, and that's the truth. Michael? Let's go for it. Thank you. I am willing to give Nino another chance. For God's sake, he's my brother. I believe he can change, but I'm not going to make any bets on it. Now that Nino is willing to take the reins and the family is ready to move forward, Chef Ramsay gives this restaurant its first facelift in over half a century. Good morning. Good morning. Good Chef morning. Ramsay. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes. Very. A lot, a lot. Right. Take off your blindfolds. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my, my God. God. This is so wow. incredible. It's unbelievable. Are we in Nino's? I know there's a sign that says Nino's. <laughs> Welcome to the new Nino's. I love the light. I love it. 50 oh my God. years in the making. <laughs> we got rid of the drab brown color. And we lighted the walls up. Yes? Thank God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Gone are the Chianti bottles cluttering the ceiling and gathering dust. Now, we have brand new light fixtures made from old apple baskets. That's awesome. <laughs> I think it's hot. <laughs> I'm speechless seeing all of this. It's very crisp and clean looking. Welcome. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> wow. Wonderful. Oh, this is amazing. Yes. Oh my god. I love this. First of all, we have decluttered this room. Yay! Painted it fresh. And these beauties here are handmade family tables. Oh, oh they're wow. beautiful. Inga, what do you think? This is the greatest thing because this reminds me of Germany. The people, they all sit on tables together and they have a wonderful time. I think it looks great. <laughs> we had the old Ninos for 54 years. It was time to freshen it up. I think with this change, we can be here for many more years. Oh, you kept our old picture. Of oh, course yeah. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you like it, darling? I do. Oh, no, don't get upset. Come on. I'm so grateful. I don't know how to say thank you. I want you to be happy. I'm so happy. I'm so thankful to you. Please. This is like a dream come true. I, I don't know how to thank you. Fall back in love with this amazing <laughs> restaurant. Definitely. I'm speechless. <laughs> and I'm really, really great. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Gord. To match the new contemporary design of the restaurant, Take one menu and pass them along, please. Thank Chef Ramsay has created a rustic menu to complement it. It looks delicious. It looks like it should be in a painting. Very authentic. Oh, everything's in perfect. Now, enjoy the food. This is so Dig incredible. In. OK. Delicious. Oh, my god. Wow. Mm. Tastes good, chicken parmesan. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you.
It's relaunch night, and Chef Ramsay has a new important job for Nino, running the kitchen. You ready? Yes, sir. You're going to be expediting? Absolutely. Uh, and stay on top of it. We are not going to argue in front of the team. Yeah? Yes. This is it. Hi. Welcome on a rainy summer night. <laughs> it's so much brighter. So much ambient, so much uh -huh. everything. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, too. I'll try the ricotta cavatelli. Oh, sounds good. Fire up number 15. 15. At this point, it's time to step up and finally convince Chef Ramsay that, that I can do this job, that I can expedite. OK, deal's up, Chef. We're Thank ready. Linguini's coming Let's up go. right behind us. With Nino managing the kitchen. All right, here we go. Bam, pasta. Food is coming out at a steady pace. We have a bio. Yes. The sauce is excellent. Yeah. But as more orders come in. You go, Nino? OK, we need to slow it up back out there. Nino is starting to get overwhelmed. Nino. Is that another one? Yeah. Nino, is that right? Somebody's having a minestrone for an entree. Yes, it is. You sure? Yes. Then how can there be five entrees? All I want to do is make sure we check in well, so we don't screw the kitchen. Well, I can, I can uh, check back. He's at table 12. He'll be right back. Let's go. Nino's started getting backed up and overwhelmed, so I would do everything I could to stop it. This deck just disappeared. Uh, OK, so we've got issues okay, with the I, I got it. I got okay. it. Oh, well, they, 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 want all the, they want all this at the same time. Just okay? checking. That's what we're yeah, just checking. I found out. I, I actually, Mike, I got this under control. Yeah. If well, both this, of us this are this here, is, this we can. No, I need a margarita pizza, Valentino, and a cheese tortellini. Hold on one second. Mike just kind of asserted himself into the line, and, and I can see that's going to be very combative. I feel like there's, you know, a war brewing at the pickup window. We're really falling behind. Okay, excuse me, you know, I can't see over your stomach. What, what right. table is this? Lasagna? You know, please don't sleep on the counter. Stand not, up like this. Mike, I can't see the checks. Just the last one. You know, please. Just stop being angry. I'm not being angry. Just please stand up. Posture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Just, have okay. to be calm. Yeah, yeah, right. I need a calamari appetizers and a veal. You got to give me table numbers, man. Sorry, you really do. You got to help me out. You're clearly on. Table 12. I can't even take this, man. Pick up table five, cavatelli spaghetti meatball. I need a calamari pickup appetizer. And a minestrone. Shut up. Don't talk to me like that, or we'll come back there and have a nice talk. You got it? Fuck me. He talks to me like again. He's going out the door. It's relaunch night at Nino's. I need a calamari pickup appetizer. We need fucking 20 people talking. And Michael has pushed Nino out of the way and is trying to leave the kitchen. Mike, I got this under control. Yeah. But unfortunately, He's putting the relaunch in jeopardy. Shut up. Don't talk to me like that, or we'll come back there and have a nice talk. You got it? Fuck me. Mike. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't blow it up. There's no point in blowing no, the whole. I don't blow up. I was coming up to try to clear the mess. Let's let, let's keep it calm. OK. Very okay. good. I'm calm as a cucumber right now. Sure. Why don't you go outside and get some fresh air? You got it. Nina, table's fired. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Right now, Anthony needs you here on the whole place. Exactly. Yeah, head chef, expediter. Right. You've got to stay like that. Exactly. Okay. I need a calamari for five. I need a calamari for eight. Excellent. Let's go. Order up. Michael. Yeah. Can I have a word, please? Don't let this spoil tonight. Just take a big, deep breath. I can't turn off my emotions like that. I'm, I'm not, not asking It's not to, a light but switch. But you're letting that just spoil the whole fucking thing. Mm -hmm. And when I'm not here and your brother pisses you off, you've got to show some form of control. That's all. Control. Don't let it spoil the night. Yeah, OK. I appreciate it. I'm waiting for table two whenever ready. Here we go. Fire the lasagna. Okay, I'm going to take this to table 12. You got it. Thank you. Here's your calamari you needed. Thank you. All right. Delicious. 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 Everything's going well right now. You're doing good. And the steak. It's really good. It's very good. This is everything I'd ever wanted for our restaurant and hoped for. I'm so overjoyed. It's it's surreal right now. Did you already get that, number seven? Spaghetti meatball. They all finish. Finish. I can't remember the last time Nino worked that hard. I hope we're going to be here many more years, including me. <laughs> Just with a little less work. That's the last ticket out. Good. And well done. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Let me tell you, that wasn't a perfect evening, but thinking that nothing's been changed for 54 years, it was never going to be perfect, let's be honest. Yeah. Nina, you didn't disappear. You stood there and took it. Well done. Thank you.
I think you did a remarkable thing for us, and uh, I want this to work 100% with all my fiber. You stick with it. And Michael, how would you sum up tonight? It was just very confusing. You know, it's a new look, new menu. You know, we'll see what our, what our regular customers think too. But I can't speak for them. Sure. Do you want it to work? Yes, I do. Yeah? I'm unconvinced you actually want to change, let me tell you. Well? I gotta go. Tragic. Uh, this has been the best day of our family's life, and um, Mike is being a complete asshole. It's really disappointing to see him walking out and being so ungrateful. I hope my family could get behind all this change and really support it. I'm hoping to. Look after yourselves, will you please? And look after each other. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Thank Bye. you. Good night. When this restaurant started, there was no internet. Man had not landed on the moon, and there was no such thing as a color TV. But there was Nino's, and the only way this restaurant can continue is if the family put the past behind them. I'm not sure if they can, but I'm really hoping they can do so. Wow, Nino, he can clean and take photographs as well. In the weeks that followed, although Michael distanced himself from the restaurant, the rest of the family has stepped up. Fire up nine yeah. and seven and the fireplace. Nina was working harder and is taking on more responsibilities, but the task of running the business on a day-to-day -day basis still falls on Inga's shoulders. You enjoyed the pizza? Yeah. Oh, great. And despite her full-time job. I do want us to just all work together. Karina has increased her presence at Nino's in hopes that the 54-year-old family restaurant will live on as a legacy for generations to come.